<laughs> Would I have play me in a biopic? Oh, that's a really hard, cruel question. Maybe Nicolas Cage at the end of, it, of his career. <laughs> Searching the Tims <laughs> out of his mind. I think I, I would pick Isabel to Paris to play Paul. Indie biopic? So there's not a lot. We don't have a big budget for my... That's right. Okay. That's right. Jason Mitchell. Amy Adams. Probably Mr. Brad Pitt. Uh, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> I mean, I love Tony Collette. Jean-Claude Van Damme, for obvious reasons. I basically am always looking for, like, a really funny... <laughs> Listen to me. A really funny brunette who can also be tragically sad. <laughs> I don't know who would play us. I know it would be called Fabulous Messes. Probably Nick Offerman, you know. Probably. I'm just casting for beards. The closest I could come is maybe the Olsen twins could, you know, gang up together and do it. The little kid from Moonlight. The the, 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 the the feisty one in the beginning. Yes, again. About me? About you, yeah. Somebody playing me? Oh my god. Um, Ernest Borgnine. I don't know. That's impossible. Uh, yeah, Ernest Borgnine. There, I'll stand by it. Ruby D. This is funny, Meryl Streep. <laughs> she could do anybody. She could do anything. <laughs> Meryl Streep. Uh, well, I'd want to play myself. Yeah. Can I still play me? I promise you, at 60, I'll be able to do 16. <laughs> me. <laughs> Can I do that?